So one of the interesting questions I get a lot is what are the habits and what are the routines that I should focus on in order to improve my life? And I can say unequivocally, there is one habit that is by far the most important habit for changing your life. Now in this video, let's talk about what that one habit is and I wanna issue you a 100 day challenge. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. So there was a really interesting piece of research done and I wish for the life of me I remember who it was, but he had interviewed and studied the world's most successful people for all of the traits, in other words, the habits that they cultivated to become holistically successful. And what he found was something like a thousand different habits in all of these people. But the single most important habit when he was asked what is the most important habit was discipline. Self-discipline, because discipline is what makes all the other habits work, right? Anyone can know what to do to change their life, but if you don't do it over literally years, then that change won't happen. Now, in this video, I want to share a few revelations I've had about discipline, issue you guys a 100-day challenge, and then hopefully provide some insight on how you can become more disciplined. So kind of reflecting back on my own life, I realized that almost anyone can get what they want, they can get the body they want, they can get the life they want, they can have financial freedom, they can travel the world, they can become the kind of person to attract their dream partner, they can become a regular meditator, if you give them enough time, right? Anyone, even if they fail for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, KFC was started by Colonel Sanders way later in life. I mean, many of the world's most successful people started way past 40. And so I think, I believe, if you give anyone enough chances, at some point they'll get it right but most people quit. And so that is where self-discipline comes in. And if you look at something so simple, like how many people do you know that go to the gym four times a week and have done so for one year? Not 10 years, not 50 years, one year. Not that many, right? And if you just do that habit, you're gonna be in a very different body a year from now or even six months from now. So here's what I wanna issue as far as a 100 day challenge goes. All right, so this is the 90 or 100 day discipline challenge, okay? All you need to do is three or four things. Very first thing is pick a habit or something that's important to you that you are actively working on. So common ones are meditation, going to the gym, flossing. We'll just use those three as examples. And then what I want you to do is start with, let's just say meditation or the gym, start with five minutes. That's it, just five minutes. The third ritual is you're gonna add one minute every time you do it and the fourth or the third here is that you're going to ignore how you feel and you're just going to focus on the direction you want to go in your life. So this is very different than some of my advice. The whole point of discipline is valuing the goal, the future you want to create more than how you feel right now. And it doesn't mean you're always going to feel this way, but you ignore how you feel to get the work done that will lead to the feeling you eventually want. Okay. So that's what I want you to focus on. So for example, when I moved back from China in like 2011, I, my buddy Jeff and I, we were both into meditation, but neither of us had the discipline to meditate like two hours a day. So we did this 100 day meditation challenge, or this 100 days of meditation. And it's in my book, Master of the Day. And we started with one minute of meditation on day one. And every single day we added one minute of meditation until day 100, which was 100 days. So. That's a lot of meditation. And what I find is that at some point, it's easy. And then at some point, you're like, crap, 40 minutes is a lot of meditation. Like, where do I fit that in? But the point of discipline, discipline is the most important skill for success because when it's cloudy, I don't want to do anything. When I have a cold, like now, I don't want to do anything. Definitely not these videos. When things are not going well in my life, I don't want to do crap. And yet, the reason why I've almost never been derailed in the last five years is because I've cultivated my own personal discipline to such a high level that like, I haven't missed a week in the gym besides when I go on vacation, probably in seven years, maybe 10 years. And these videos are out every single week with not one week missed. These are not things that I always want to do, but after a while they become effortless. And the point is that when you cultivate discipline in your life, you become more driven by the alignment with the direction you wanna go in 
rather than how you feel right now. And it doesn't mean you stuff down your feelings or how you feel never matters. That would be a crappy life where you never felt good. The point is, it may not feel good now, but in 20 minutes, you might feel great. You might feel great right after you do it. And I very often do, personally. So if you try this 100-day challenge, you start with meditation, or you start with a 5-minute walk around the block, or you start flossing one day a week, you're going to realize, number one, that wasn't so bad. It was that start, like that inertia you had to overcome. Just like I talk about in the three second rule video that I filmed before, I'll link up at the end. But the point is alignment with your goals is more important than how you feel right now. So I hope that video helps. Before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, for this discipline challenge, what is the habit you're gonna be working on? Comment there below. All right guys, I hope that video helped. The best way to stay in touch, of course, is to grab the free weight loss and personal development challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. You can also check out the last videos here and the three second rule video right here. And again, that weight loss challenge is in the description box there below. So setting up the biomat is pretty easy. Basically, there's the biomat itself that you put down. Unfold the biomat and you can see the, the crystals there in those little bar looking the lighter colored parts right there. So you lay the mat flat. Here's a little bit of an overview of what it actually looks like up close. Um, that part on the right there is where the power cable attaches, where you can adjust the heat settings and things like that. These are the crystals that we talked about earlier. And it's pretty cool actually. It's a very interesting look and a very interesting design. Very comfortable when you lay down on it. You can see more about the, the crystals here. It's very unique and something I haven't really quite seen anywhere else. So once the mat, you can see the mat here all uh, laid out top to bottom. Um, I'm six feet two, so it's a little bit bigger than me. Basically to set it up, you take the power cord, you plug it in, and then it's gonna give you this, there's gonna be this box attached. And the box uh, essentially shows the heat setting on one side there that you wanna have. So um, you can see on the left, those two butterfly winged parts, so once it's plugged in, you're gonna see the lights actually turn on here. And it's gonna give you this kind of like calibrating look. And once that's going, you can adjust the temperature settings on the right there. So I'm hitting the temperature button. You can see it going up from 96 to 104 to 113. And one of the things I noticed was that for some people, they like it really hot. It helps them fall asleep and it helps them relax no problem. Um, and for other people, it's just too much. So it's cool to play with the temperature setting there. There's also a timer part, timer duration, so two hours, four hours, and so on. Basically, once the timer's all set, put down this little pillow here, get ready for what's essentially my power nap. A couple of the users have talked about it being the world's best power nap. Lay down, throw a little blanket on yourself, and then for me, I would do it for maybe 15 to 30 minutes in the middle of the day, kind of like a a quick little recharge period that can help me uh, build up some energy where I don't really have time to like sleep for one or two hours or I don't really have time to actually take a proper nap or if I slept poorly the night before and you know now there's just there's just no way for me to recover that energy and I'm not really interested in drinking a whole bunch of coffee so that's kind of a look at how the biomat works and the setup and laying down and getting started with your power nap